everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would show you guys how to do this really really pretty and really easy um, eye makeup tutorial if you're not very experienced at doing makeup then maybe you can learn a little bit from this video today um, I am NOT in any way trying to say that I am <laughs> professional in any way because I am NOT um, this is just what I do on my own to create this eye look and I did this eye look last weekend and I don't know I got a lot of compliments I told you guys a few people out in public complimented on it for me so I was like maybe I should just make a YouTube video and show you guys how I did the eye tutorial and everything so first off I started by using this Lorac palette so if you guys do not have a Lorac palette you don't have to have a Lorac palette for this eye tutorial but if you do then you're all set because then you can just look at the colors because they all have names so you know what colors to use and everything like that. So um, the colors that I will be using for today's look is the peony color right here. I don't know how to say it, but if you guys have the palette, then you know where it's at. This really shiny, pretty, kind of like a champagne color, pinkish, like a white color that's really, really shimmery. And then I will be using that for all over my lid. And then I will be going with the um, Goji. I think it's called Goji. Um, this kind of like a, a brownish reddish color right here and I'll be using that for my crease and then I'll be going for the outer corners I'll be going with Cabernet I think that's how you say it which is right beside of it this dark kind of like brown color um, that is why it's kind of like a dark brown but it almost like on your eyes it looks kind of like a I don't know resembles kind of like a deep dark like red or something like that I don't know but th but the combination of these three colors I think are really really pretty and I just experimented with this last weekend and um, I figured out that the easiest way especially if you are new to makeup to get a really good line and everything is to use scotch tape so I will be using scotch tape today and I will show you guys what I do for it how it works and all that so I think I'm just gonna do kind of like explaining video I already did my makeup today um, as far as foundation and highlighting and I did try to contour today which I think it looks a lot better for my first time really really trying good I did watch a video on kind of how to contour up here because I didn't know how to do that and I highlighted my face and I think my face looks super glowy today so I really do like the results of the contour if you guys want to see my contour video even though I didn't really know what I was doing but I did review the product and I used it again today and I really like it so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video and I hope you guys like it and let's jump right into it so the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to prime my eyelids you guys see me do this in probably every makeup tutorial but that's the first thing I'm gonna do decided that I think that I'm just going to show you guys how to do one eye and then I'll just finish up the other eye so the video ain't too long because this is probably going to be a long video so so I'm starting out with my flat eyeshadow brush you just need like a regular eyeshadow brush doesn't have to be anything fancy because believe me I need new brushes really really bad so mine are not that fancy but I do need um, to get some new ones but you don't need a fancy one so um, another tip that it sounds kind of gross, but I like to just kind of get the end of my brush wet. You can just get some water or use your tongue if you're not too grossed out by doing that. Because sometimes I just kind of dab my tongue on there just to get it a little bit wet. That might be gross to some people, but I don't really care because uh, it helps the color, in my opinion, get on your lid a little bit better. And it's like um, more pigmented that way. So I'm just going to put this color all over my lid. Um, this is what the color looks like all over my lid and the next thing that you're going to do is grab your scotch tape and you are going to outline your eye if you want. So you want it to kind of meet with the end of your eyebrow and then that way you know like that's a good 
good place to tape off at as long as it meets up with your eyebrow and the end of your eyelid. So now that we are all taped up and looking like a freak, <laughs> we are going to get my um, little crease brush and we're going to go in the color Goji and we're going to take this into in there you can work on blending the collars out once you get them all on there maybe a little bit better just to blend everything together I do try to do the windshield wiper motion it kind of helps get the collars blended really good so um, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Cabernet the darkest color and I'm gonna put you don't need a lot of this color. to take out a, a blending brush or use the same brush and just blend all the colors together. I like to use my fluffier brush that I apply my highlight on with but I like to um, make sure it's good and like dust it off really good and then just kind of this is a really good brush for blending colors. So I just kind of like to take it and do this and blend everything really really good. Just like this. A whole freaking line of uh, good highlights that you can choose from, but I like the sugar one. I'm using it a lot. So I just like to highlight with the sugar. I also like to take a little bit in the corners of my eyes. Just like that. So um, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to do some winged eyeliner. Um, I am going to use, I think my stiletto liner today is a little bit simpler to use than that benefit stuff I got. I haven't really mastered that one very well but um even though it lasts a lot longer but i'm gonna use this today so i'm just gonna start Now I'm going to do the wing. You can follow the tape and it will really give you a really nice, perfect wing that you're looking for. And you know, you don't have to tell people that you use tape. You can just tell them that you did it all on your own and make yourself look good. <laughs>
remove the tape and you got the perfect the perfect eye so um yeah the last thing obviously to do is to add mascara and if you want to wear bottom eyeliner as well which i did last time but i don't think i'm going to today just because it's pretty dramatic the way that it is so um i don't really think you need that extra bottom line but um then the last thing to do is just add mascara and that's how you create this really easy simple eye look like i said you don't have to have the lower palette you can use any colors that you want but the key to this whole thing to getting it to look really flawless is the scotch tape in my opinion because it really helps guide you as far as like you're not going outside the line you're not gonna go way down here or you're it's just gonna help you kind of learn your eye shape a little bit better in my opinion so I just love using the scotch tape I think it looks great so I'm gonna finish up my eye and add mascara and I will show you guys what the final look looks like so this is what the final look looks like together with both eyes done and I really am loving this look I think this is a really really good look for the fall time coming up um, with the dark colors and everything and when you blend them together it almost kind of reminds me of like a purple look I don't know how they ended up looking like purple but to me the crease and stuff mixed with that outer color almost looks kind of dark and purpley so I think this is a really good look for the fall time coming up so um, if you guys are interested in trying to recreate this look like I said you don't have to have the Lorac palette to get this you can use some other colors and mix them together and you might end up with the same results so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video if you guys like these types of video give this one a thumbs up for me so that way I know to keep doing these and I do like doing makeup I really just have to have the time to make them to really um, make a makeup video so um, I got the day off so I decided to film a video for you guys so yeah it's like Wednesday so it's like really weird that I'm here filming videos but I'm really excited to be filming let me know down below if you guys like this style of makeup videos like do you guys like me kind of explaining what I do like on camera for you guys or do you like the makeup videos where I kind of overlay music and kind of explain that way like a voiceover and like sped up makeup videos like I don't know what you guys like but leave me a comment down below and let me know so that way I know which kind you guys prefer and I will do them that way for you guys and yeah thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you are new I make new videos every single week and I love you guys very much and I will see and I will see you guys in my next video bye I wanted to add real quick um the last thing that I do when I finish up my makeup is obviously do something with these lips because um you don't have a finished makeup if you don't have some sort of lipstick or lip gloss on those lips so um, I just found this one. It's a really old one. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's by the Victoria's Secret. It's called Mocktail Hour. And um, I really like the way this looks with this eye tutorial. So um, here's what it looks like. It's really old though. So like, like I said, I don't know if they still sell this. Um, I'm really surprised it's even still good and at least it still smells good. Cause I know sometimes they can start getting like gross after a while, but it smells really good. It almost smells like a fruit cocktail or something. So I just like to finish with this. Yeah, baby.